Hello, and welcome to the Gifted Church WhatsApp platform. Pastor Kwame has made your spiritual encouragement his responsibility. Enjoy today's word. Praise be to God, honor be to God, glory be to God. And the Bible says something in the book of Revelation. It says, praise, honor, glory, power, wisdom, and might belongs to our God. Amen. You are not um, part of uh, something that is earthly. You are part of the eternal body. You are part of the host of angels. Uh, uh, you are part of the men of old. You are part of God's kingdom. Amen. And it is big deal. It is important when this life is over, you will be part of the eternal family. And that is what I want you to remember when t- things get difficult. Because there's a joy set before you. Amen. Amen. I greet you on this Wednesday. And uh, I want you to know that God is interested in your daily activity and he is on your side uh there's a song that says the lord stands behind me like a mighty warrior hallelujah your battle is in his hands amen and your victory is also in his hands father we honor you on today we love you because you first loved us may everything that we see today may it O oh god be a thing that you have ordained for us. We refuse the works of the enemy today. In Jesus' name, amen. Let me work on my assignment today. It's always a joy to bring you the word of the living God. I'm reading from the book of Isaiah. The prophet Isaiah writes in Isaiah chapter 3, the verse number 10. It says, Tell the righteous that blessings will come to them tell the righteous that blessings will come to them amen amen i want to talk about another holiday that is not on your calendar which is called the righteous appreciation day Uh, the righteous appreciation day um let me teach a little bit on theology a little bit here there are two theological types of the word righteous Uh, the first type is called imputed righteousness and simply put is a righteousness that is on a credit card and that credit card has in the name jesus on it and that is the actually the gate fee to heaven you have to pay that righteousness to inherit the land so every one of us who will go to heaven the amount of righteousness that takes people to heaven is a credit that comes from jesus christ that you don't pay back it is imputed impute means to put on you it is the righteousness of jesus christ that we use to enter heaven for all of us our righteousness is not enough it is the righteousness of god that we use to enter heaven so all of us literally are not entering heaven for free we are entering heaven on jesus's credit the only thing that makes it free is that we don't have to pay back for it because of the love of god but the second righteousness is called righteousness by sanctification and that one is a righteousness that is also in your checking account I, I feel like a, a banker today. The, the righteousness that is on your checking account, it was also deposited by Christ in you. And that one, if you use it, you gain what we call the reward of the righteous. And so the second one is what I'm talking about on today. So I want you to first and foremost just keep listening to me as i develop the concept of righteousness the first thing is that there is a calendar date which is not easy to plan for but i want you to plan for it anyway because on it's on every year the first i want you to understand is to to plan for the righteousness or to plan for the righteous appreciation day you have to intentionally save up on righteousness righteousness is very very expensive and sometimes you don't even see the immediate value of it uh, our fathers used to uh, our fathers uh, used to say something like if right if if righteousness is nothing then evil is also nothing because in the immediate when you choose to do the right thing when you choose to walk away from that sin when you choose to forgive when you choose to practice patience when you choose all these things the immediate effect is like saving you don't get to enjoy 
what is in your hands you don't want to you don't get to enjoy the privilege of speaking back to the person you don't get to enjoy the the, the privilege of telling your mind you don't get to enjoy the privilege of really insulting the life of the person you pull back and you you control your desires you control that this temptation and you live right it cost you something but i came to remind you of the righteous appreciation day and also to tell you another thing which is righteousness is still the highest uh, on the stock market uh, there are apple there are other things and there's righteousness righteousness is still on top of the precious mineral they are diamonds they are gold and that's so there's righteousness so i just want you to know that as a stock investor righteousness is always the best place to put your money and so it is important that you do that now let me begin to share something else with you about righteousness when you decide to live right is interesting i'm not even going to my test yet when you decide to live right the first thing that happens is that you will just your name is put on the people that will be appreciated on the righteous people's day appreciation and 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 that's what this verse is talking about but another thing I, I, nobody has told you which i want to tell you maybe you know is that righteousness is a safety net in other words, nobody can decide to be at the right place at the right time because we don't know what will happen in the immediate 30 seconds, actually. But God has decided that the path of righteousness is a path of safety. So you're, you get double for your trouble. If you choose to pay that expensive price of living right, automatically that choice will put you in a safer zone against accident against demonic incident against other things that one is invisible so most people will not know that benefit but that's what i'm sharing with you there's an immediate benefit when you choose not to insult the person back spiritually you position yourself in the safest place in the realms of the spirit because every evil word that comes of your mouth will be judged and sometimes people think that it is the judgment of what did you say bro? but words are spirits anytime you voice an evil word it begins to work let me tell you this it takes a greater grace for your children to come out right if you have insulted them more than you have blessed them let me say it again it takes a greater grace for your children to come out right if you have insulted them more than you have blessed them because for every insult you speak on them the enemy will use it you understand and so i want you to uh prepare for the righteous appreciation day try your best to live right and let me now go back to my test and wrap it up so the prophet Isaiah is declaring judgment another day another name for judgment day is also the righteous appreciation day and and uh, the, the, the 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 apostle um the prophet Isaiah is declaring uh the judgment of God and talking about judgment is going to come upon those who have forgotten God judgment is going to come upon those who are copying Egypt judgment is come upon those who are living as pagans and he's speaking judgment and then and then in chapter 3 the verse 10 he says now but there is also another message that God gave me. And he says, tell the righteous, it shall be well with them. Hallelujah. Tell the righteous, a blessing is coming. So I came on this Wednesday to sell you righteousness. To tell you to buy some, to invest in some, to save up on righteousness. To invest in righteousness. To, to, to bank righteousness. Because that is the only thing that can save your children that is the only thing that can save your life that's the only thing so righteousness is the only thing that does not depreciate and the power of righteousness is so awesome that it's the only thing that you can leave for your children that nobody can take if you leave um money for your children they can misuse it but if you leave righteousness for them they'll be forever protected because they can't misuse righteousness as an investment so I want to tell you to live right. I want to tell you to choose to live right. Don't excuse your sin by grace. You are not going to be appreciated on the day of the righteous appreciation day. Do everything to live right because I hear the sound of the appreciation day coming. On your calendar for just prophetic purposes every year, just 
choose a day called the righteous appreciation day so that it will remind you that my righteousness will not go in vain my righteousness is the expensive commodity i have righteousness is the jewelry i have righteousness is the bank account balance i have righteousness is the main thing and i want to let you know that i'm told to tell you that it shall be well with you anytime you make a righteous decision let's pray father we honor you on today we bless you we give you glory we thank you that we are going to be paid for this grant us what it takes to make the right decisions not by our flesh not by our feelings not by our fears but by faith in the name of jesus we pray may god bless you because you will be appreciated on that day god bless you